Hi, I'm Larry. And I'm Alice. And, and we, we are, are Downsizing, Downsizing Makes Sense. Sense. In this video today will be our first video campground tour of the Crooked River State Park near St. Mary's, Georgia. The first part of the video, I'm gonna come in and show you the entrance, going to the uh, registration and uh, gift shop area, and then uh, continuing on to the campground. This first section is about four minutes in the coming into the campground. And then we got about 10 minutes of the campground tour, which is this area. And this is the blown up area right here. So we have the first section, the second section, and the third section, which is a detailed view of all the different campsites in the campground. And this is about 10 minutes. We finished the video with a little bit of the tour of the boat ramp area and some of the group shelters in the day use area. So let's get into the campground tour, which is really what you came to see. And at the very end, is a quick little slideshow of some of our favorite photos. Absolutely. Okay, here we are coming into the entrance of Crooked River State Park near St. Mary's, Georgia and Kingsland, Georgia. They had a festival coming up in a couple weeks so you can see they have it all set up for their Halloween festival. St. Mary's just happened to have a rock shrimp festival um, at the same time we were there and the other town was called Kingsland, Georgia. And they have a really good shopping. They have Walmart, Publix, and very close by. All that stuff you'd need is like 15 minutes away. You can see them fast forwarding through the entrance of the park here. Basically all there is is a couple of ranger station residences um, coming to the entrance. Here we're coming up to the uh, registration office, which is gonna be on the right-hand side here, the visitor center. Um, and this is where you're gonna come and park your RV off to the left where that black truck is parked and then go in there and get your registration information. They have a really good store inside. It's like a little little um, shopping center. <laughs> yeah, a little campground shopping center yeah. where you can buy all different stuff. You can get wood and and I came in and bought uh, a lighter and some fire starters and stuff like they that. They also had some like touristy items too. Yeah. Okay, so you after you register here in the visitor center, um, you're gonna come out of here and we're gonna take a right to go to the campground. One thing I forgot to mention, I actually rented a bike there too. Yes. 12 bucks for three hours, but hey, but, hey, I needed a bike to do this video tour. There you go. Okay, so we're gonna come out of there, we're gonna take a right, you're gonna drive up here a little bit, and you'll see coming up here on the right-hand side is where you turn right for RV and tent camping. If you go straight where those cars are, uh, it's a dead end. Uh, I did that unfortunately and had to back up my fifth wheel all the way back to get back to this entrance. So you turn right right here, and um, that will take you on the road down to the tent and RV camp parking. And I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna fast forward here. But that does show you how big this park is, that these long entrances in take so, such a long time. And there is the, we're passing the nature center, which is great for little kids. They did have a little baby alligator. Um, and some turtles and, and some, some turtles and, stuff and like some that. skulls, but it's it's really meant for little kids. But there is a boardwalk path on the in the back on the left, but unfortunately it's closed. The boardwalk was in great disrepair. Okay, this is the um, the dump station here on your left. Uh, some of the sites did not have a sewer connection, so this is where you go and dump. Um, luckily, our site did have a sewer connection, which was uh, really convenient. We had 50 amp and sewer connection, which is pretty killer. Okay, coming up here on the left-hand side, is gonna be the entrance to the tent and RV park, and you'll see the sign here on the right-hand side pointing left so that you don't miss it. If you go straight, it'll take you to the uh, cottages, but we're gonna turn left here in tent and RV parking, and you'll see coming up here on the left-hand side are the campground hosts. There's three, three campground hosts. There's two here, and there's one more in the park that we'll show you in a couple seconds, and we'll slow it down here in a second as we uh, come into um, the actual campsites that we're gonna go through. We're gonna really slow it down so you can see the campsites. I'm also gonna show you a map right here and um, show you where we're going for the first um, leg of the uh, campground tour. Okay, here's a map of the first section that we're gonna go through, which is uh, campsite one through 11. Now behind those red flags is a campground host and behind that campground host is another uh, entrance to the boardwalk that I went to at the nature center. Yeah, we just passed the, uh, basically the, the dump station where you can dump your garbage and stuff like that. Here's camp campsite number one on the left-hand side, which is a drive-through. 
We got campsite number two coming up on the right, which is a back in site. You can look at the uh, campground map, which we'll um, include in the video description how to get that. Okay, coming up on the left here, we got site number three, which is a back end site. Also, not, not quite as big. Coming up on the right again, we got another back end site, which is campsite number five. And here we have campsite number four, which is a long pull through uh, campsite. You can see how much room there is uh, on that. Not much shade though. Yeah, since some of these ones coming right down the middle didn't have didn't have a lot of shade, wouldn't be my choice. Um, but you know, sometimes a campground you take what you can get. Okay, coming up here on the left, this is uh, site number seven, and then across from that is number six. I'm sorry, number yes, yeah, number six, six right? Which is a pull through. Okay, then we got over here is site number eight, which is a back in. right beside that we've got the nine which is kind of a funny pull through to the other section but it is a pull through site and now we're going to come in here to the uh, end section here in a minute and then you can turn right which is starts at 39 but we're actually going to keep going numerically through the campsites and uh, continue with um, and that one on the right was number 10. okay here's the map of the next section which is site 11 through 38. Okay, coming up in here on our right hand side will be campsite 11 which is the numero uno site to have it's right there on the river right on crooked river it is the site that we would love to have but it doesn't have a lot of shade but it's just an awesome yeah view. it's just a, the best river view yes so the next site coming up on the right hand side is 14 and across from that was uh, i'm sorry it was number 12. this is number 12 right here this is the back end site and um, right across from 12 is 13. I'll try, probably try and swing around here. There's 13, which again is a back end site. But you know, not as much shade on these, but I mean, really nice sites. Okay, we got this kind of ugly, uh, like uh, electrical thing here. Um, but uh, you know, you kind of deal with, you got to deal with. Number right? and, 14. And that was number 14, right? But also number 15 has that look too. 15 <laughs> also, yeah. Yep, actually, this, this little girl kept it. Uh, cruising around while I was doing the video is pretty funny okay so across from that would 16. be uh, is that number 16? 16 okay 16 there we go and okay next should be on the right hand side should be 18 no I think that was still looking at 15 oh, that was 15 I went back I to think, 15 yeah. okay oh here's here's 18, yeah, there's right 18. There. okay good there's 18 Another and then 19 has got a big uh, pull through area and across from that is 17, uh, which is a back end site, but a nice good size back end. So actually, yeah, 17 is actually another pull through. Yeah. That's right. Some of these pull throughs are really big pull throughs. Like they are. you could put several RVs in some the of these. The 19 pull is a huge pull through. This is 19, yeah. yeah 19. Look at, look at and it. This guy's got his boat, he's got his yeah. RV. I mean, you could pit two or three in there, you know. Now, Acro if you. If across from that is the, you'll see, is the restroom area. Yeah, I was going to say. Just, just off to the left right there, you can walk through that path. I really wouldn't like to be parked next to a restroom, but some people do like it. So okay. that was site. There's 20 right there on our left. And we're now we're coming into uh, site number 21. Yeah, we just a, we just passed big, 22. Right. Is actually what it was. Oops. And this is 21 and it's just a nice big pull through site. Okay, so we're coming up on this one. This should be, I think should be 23 right here. You know, we don't always get all these numbers right. 22. Yeah, so that's oh, 22. there's 22. I was wrong. Before. Right. Sorry. And then 23 is right after that on that side. Across from that, this should be 24 coming up. And 22 and 23 are marked for handicap accessibility. So there's 24. There's nobody in that one, but it's a nice little back and say Again, not a lot of shade on this side of the park, but pretty nice. This is 26 on the right right there. And I'll probably do a look back here in a second for nice site number 23. And right beside that is, this is 26, I think, or 27, what was that? That was 27, there's 25. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to see these as you're uh, flying by. We're trying to do this as we're looking at the campground map. Also, they do have, as that sign says, 
um, a golf cart trail. Yeah, there were golf carts all over the place. This is site number 28, which is a back end site. And same thing with uh, 29 is the back end. This is 31, which is a really nice uh, long pull through site. And then we've got uh, 29 right here again. This is a decent back, back end site. Yeah, back end, I mean. And I think this is 30. This is 30 right here on the right. And then on the left is the, uh, a nice uh, a nice pull pull through site 33. number 33, good size pull through site. And then we've got 32 right here, it's back in site. And the next ones are all going to be on the um, right hand side, which is be 34, which is a back in. These are a little bit smaller. Um, probably are limited to like 20 foot or something like that. There's number 35, 36, 37, and 38 are also going to be right here on the right hand side. But you know these are these are decent sites. The back up to the woods right there, it's really beautiful back there. This is uh, 36 right here. Again, these are meant for smaller travel trailers and uh, tent tent camping. A lot of people were tent camping in these. Okay, and our last one I think right here is uh, site number 38. And that is the end of that section. The next thing we're, we're gonna come into, uh, the start at 39 again, and I'll pull up the map for that. Okay, here's the campground map again for the next section, which is uh, campsites 39 through 62. Okay, well, here we are coming around the corner so instead of uh, turning left like we did before, next time we're gonna turn right and we're gonna start into, um, we got 39 uh, on our right, I'm sorry, on our left, which is a pull-through site. A good size pull-through site. Again, that really actually does have some good views of the water. Yeah. Across from that is uh, site 40, again, which is a small pull-through site. Again, these sites that are coming up on the left are all still gonna have some kind of uh, river or water view out the back of their campsites. Okay, next on the left will be here, will be, should, be, should be 41. Right here, again, is another pull-through site. And it, you see that they do have more shade in this loop. Yeah, this, this section is, is, is starting with a really nice loop. We, are, we were actually on this loop coming up and we really liked it, it had a lot more shade. So that's 41. And we're coming into kind of a dead end section of the loop right here. So you got 42 on the left and right across from that on the right is 43. Now these are really cool areas because they're super private. It's basically like in a little dead end section right here. Really um, nice. When you look, looked right through this gap right here, this is where the cottages are. When you look right through this gap right there, when you go through that road and continue going, it goes to these cottages. And we, I didn't really look at the cottages, but they looked pretty cool. I mean, if you don't have a camper or RV, um, they, but, had, they had cable TV and everything. Yeah. So I'm coming back and we're going to go back down. Now we're going to hit um, on our left hand side here will be 44. I'm sorry. Yeah, 44, which will um, cut through to the um, to the other part of the campground. We're going to take a left here. This guy had this really awesome rig over here. This uh, in 44. Uh, really cool old truck that he converted into an awesome uh, RV. So there's 44, which kind of cuts through that dead end section into this next loop. Again, on our left hand side here will be number 45, which is a back in sight. The other nice thing about the lake was we did get great sunset shots. Yeah, the river was, r r was beautiful. Okay, okay, coming up here is uh, number 46 pull on through. Our, our right hand side, which is again, is a pull through. And um, accessible, handicap yeah, handicap accessible. accessible. Okay, we got 47 coming up on our left. And then again, here's the sign for the uh, golf, golf cart, cart golf access cart trail. trail. <laughs> yeah, and it's pretty funny. Those golf carts are all over the place. Okay, so that was that, was that 40, uh, Eight that was on our head. Okay, there's the that um, might have been 47. I don't know. Oh, there's the bathrooms. Yep, that was on our right hand side. And then again, we got one of these power panels here, which yeah. I wouldn't be crazy about having that right in front of my site. 
that, that was uh, 49, 49 right there, yeah. yeah. So I'd probably stay away from 49. And then on the left hand side, we got 51 coming up here, which is another decent back in sight with more shade. And then right across from 51 is 50, which is a nice size uh, pull through sight, had some decent shade uh, and a you know, good size. Um, site but you know kind of kind of close to the bathrooms over there yeah i just don't like that if you're not crazy about that okay this that should be 53 52. oh 52 yeah that yeah, was, was 52. 52 back in sorry back in sight right okay we're coming into another um nice pull through site that was 54 we looked at just real quickly and then this is 53 across from it which is back. a uh, back in sight i think we're gonna look at 54 again no probably okay. yes this is 55 on the left which is a back end sight. We're gonna come back around here. We're gonna see the tail end of that uh, 50. 54, which is 54. that uh, yeah. uh, pull through sight. Somebody had a nice, nice air sweet, stream. sweet airstream <laughs> in there, yeah. Airstream NB. Okay, so we got here on, we're gonna get in the tail end of 55 again, kind of a look back. Back end sight. And then we got 57, which is a pull through sight. Again, they have more, lots of shade. They got but one of these the big electrical box. power panel things in front. I don't know why they got to put those right in front of the sights, but that kind of that kind of sucks. Okay, we got the sweet rig right here, <laughs> which is 58. Look at that! Look at that nice truck. Lone Star is yeah. the truck, and Barf is, is the, the RV. RV. Um, okay, so we got another pull through sight coming up here. This 59. should be 59. Again, it's kind of a shallow pull-through sight. Across from that is 60 uh, with a sweet little uh, Grand Design reflection in there. Again, we're kind of a look back here to this other pull-through sight, which is nice. Didn't have as much shade, but um, there's our friendly girl who is riding with me a lot. And then we got, uh, I think this is what, 60? One. 61, yeah, 61 back in sight. And then our last one here should be 62 62 right here on the left again another back end site and that's the end of uh the campsite tour okay now let me show you the campground which is basically this area right here this was the campground area that we just showed you and we initially showed you coming into the park right here and we took a right we drove down this road right here and then into the campground i'm going to show you a little video uh, coming in from the park entrance and going left and kind of just show you some of the uh, boat ramp area over here and some of the group shelters and some of the uh, day use areas of the park. Like nice uh, playgrounds. Nice playgrounds and all that kind of stuff. But you can see on this map here, it shows you all the stuff. These are a couple of the different trails that, that you might want to go on. The, uh, the nature center's right here. Here's the uh, check-in and uh, gift shop and gift shop right That's here. That's the word I was looking for. Gift shop, right. So this is that road. If you continue going down the road past the campground here, the cottages are down here. Again, there's more nature trails, um, but we'll provide a link in the description on uh, the Georgia State Parks um, website where to get uh, this map. So anyway, so right now we're going to shoot uh, the video coming in from the entrance and doing this left area over here and the day use area. Okay, so if we had cut, turned left when coming out of the uh, visitor center and gift shop area, where you see straight ahead, you'll see the uh, day use area, and which is a really nice area. There's a couple of uh, group shelters. This is looking back left to exit to, uh, the, uh, the park itself. Um, and over here to the right is the whole river section um, day use area. So I think this is a uh, group shelter number one coming up here on the right. There was actually um, some people there having their 50th high school reunion the night we came there, which is actually really cool. It, that is actually one of my favorite places to walk the dogs right along the river there. There's lots of shade and it's it was nice and quiet when we went. No, it's a beautiful area. Um, some extra boat parking, boat and trailer parking here on the left. And then we're going to be coming up to the bait shop. I didn't go in the bait shop, but it looks like it's a nice, nice little bait shop. Um, there's a boat ramp that we're going to show you um, for people that are fishermen. I'm sure there's some great fishing here on Crooked River, um, and you could have to look up the hours of the bait shop um, on the Georgia Parks website. So here we are, uh, kind of driving through, looking over the river, which is beautiful. Again, at night, it's just awesome to come over here you, you actually can see we saw the sunset coming over here which is we got some great sunset set shots 
There is one thing I didn't like is that um, you couldn't get down to the beach. There's yeah. lots of signs yeah, that say a, cliff. There's a cliff there, so you couldn't get down to the beach. You see here on the left, you see that lots of boat and trailer parking. Um, and here, I think there was probably 30 or so uh, boat and trailer parking spots. Um, this is looking down at the uh, boat ramp right there and the section, uh, the back end section for the boat ramp. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of just scanning around the boat ramp parking area, some decent amount of, of parking, not for like massively long trailers, but uh, decent sized trailers. And we're coming around here to the boat ramp. It's a nice boat ramp. Um, I'm familiar with the boat, more of the boat ramps in the Keys um, where they had more dock area and stuff. But this is a really nice uh, boat ramp, nice concrete boat ramp. It looked like it had a pretty grippy surface. It looks like they kept it uh, pretty uh, seagrass and uh, algae free. And there's a big uh, dock section outside to park your, uh, park your boat and to uh, stage um, uh, coming in and out of the boat ramp. This looking right down State Road 40, that road we, we turned into coming into the park, it actually ends in the boat ramp area if you kept going straight. Okay, so this is coming back around. <laughs> you can see the shadow of me on my $12 rented bike to do this video tour. And um, coming back out to, to the bait shop on our left here, and we're gonna go back in and show you a little bit more of uh, the day use area and uh, some more of the uh, group camping. I mean, sorry, the, um, what are they called? The shelters, the day use shelters, right? Somebody was actually having a wedding. One of the one of the shelters was this massive one, which is beautiful. But you can see this, this whole section that comes along the river here is beautiful. Um, just come into the park for the day. It's, um, it's kept very yeah, clean. Yeah, the, the whole park was kept very, very clean. And, you know, all the bathrooms were clean. Um, lots of facilities. It's beautiful. Staff was very friendly. And the staff was awesome, yeah. So this is coming back out. So if we were exiting the park, we'd be taking it right here. And if we keep going straight here, we're going past the um, registration office and gift shop on the right. And this is as if we were going back over to the campground. We hope you enjoyed our video tour of Crooked River State Park in Georgia. Leave your comments below and hit that like and subscribe to see our future videos. There is a link in the video description for the map and look for us also on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you from Downsizing Makes Sense.